The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the January 11th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four ship, well, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Would love to hear from you. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you can't call them, we understand, but we've got your back. That means you can go ahead and send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question and in our Tigers Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got most of the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The only one that is not is the Dow Transports. It's up 100 points. Otherwise, the Dow is up 37. The S&P is up 19. The Nasdaq, 143. The Russell's up 11. Semis are up 41. Gold's up 19 bucks. Silver, 34 pennies. Light sweet crude is up 3 bucks. She's trading at 81.27. Natural gas up 6 pennies, uh, continuing with the rally that uh, began yesterday. The 30-year treasury is up 10 ticks. 155.21 is where it's printing. Lead the charge dollar wise the upside 97 buck rooney's for mercado libre that's a little over nine percent amazon 73 bucks two and a quarter percent alumina is up 48 bucks 13 percent booking holdings 38 nearly well, about one and a half one and six tenths percent chipotle is up two percent 32 bucks to the downside it is a moderna off 10 bucks nearly five percent Bionitech is down 10 bucks or four percent saia saia i believe that's the moving company down two and six tenths percent seven bucks thermo fisher's off seven domino's pizza down seven so we've got things to look at of course i want to look at what you want to look at let's begin by just simply taking a look at what's transpired yesterday how do i best and easily communicate this to you i think the easy way to do that is just go back to these charts out here so these charts, we're taking a look at a, a four panel set of charts for the ES Mini. The upper left hand corner, you've got the uh, daily. The upper right hand corner, you've got the weekly. Lower left monthly, lower right, you've got the quarterly. So we're really going to focus in on the uh, daily time frame. Back on the trading day of December 27th, we had the ES Mini close above. Well, actually, I take that back. On the day of December 23rd, we had the ES Mini close above the top of the bearish structure daily profile. The profile level was 4709.50. The close was 47.15. The very next day, the second session, you had follow through. You had two consecutive closes above that resistance level. Tells us about a real breakout that is going on. Now, when price or if price does pull back into a bearish structured profile that is broken out of, my experience is if it's only a counter trend move where price will find support is at the center of that bearish structured profile. Sometimes the top is enough, but uh, typically we see price pull back into the center. Now, look, it did that yesterday. Somebody out there is looking at their screen saying, wait a minute, Steve-O, look at that long legged wick out there. Yes. But the body of the candle is really the essence of price. It is, you know, the wicks provide us with information, most certainly. And price did push down to test its rising trend lines out there. So that's another potential level of support. But it's really the center of that bearish structured profile. And so 
so far, the move that we've seen has been nothing more than a counter trend move in that bullish market. Now, granted, I'm, I'm, you, 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 I'm, I'm, I want to make sure that I'm clear out here. I do believe that the high for the year is in, but the markets are going to prove itself to us anyways. It doesn't matter what I think. The question is, what is it doing now and what is it likely to do? Well, the likely to do part, we know that price was unable to bust it down. It's just a counter trend move. And what we have right now is a new daily profile. Now, the current profile is bullish in structure. It's come and it's gone a couple times during the day. I don't know whether it will be here at 6.01 this evening, but that's when I would get the confirmation of it. We go with the data that we have right now. Support is at 46.43. Where price is running into resistance happens to be the center of that profile. That's where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value. That's an area where that it should find some resistance, 46.90. If price can close above 46.90, it doesn't have to be today, but if price does close above 46.90, assuming this profile uh, remains out here that's when then the signal would be that okay I'm going to go all the way up to the top of that profile 4808 but before it can get up there it's got a number of different resistance points that it has to deal with for example 474350 would be one of them as I look to another one of my screens 4731 that shows me the oscillator on change line for the daily time frame so there's a number of battles right now the key battle for you to be watching and observing is going to be the current center of this new profile attempting to form 4690 50. If price is able to close above that, odds favor that we head back to the top of that profile out there. So that's what the markets are doing. We'll come back to the markets because we have call ahead seating here and we've got a caller on the line. So let's go out to John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Steve, I'm doing very well. Hope you're doing the same. And thanks for taking the call. I wanted to ask you about oil. Yes. Fire away. Uh, Steve, by way of background, I spoke with you on your show, ba excuse me, back late October. I think it was the first, excuse me, the last Monday of October, and oil was in, uh, approaching what became a tradable top at 85 and change. I think it was maybe 83 at the time, and I had been trading it on the long side almost exclusively into that time, and was asking you, hey Steve, your tools, your techniques, are there any? Are there any indicators that suggest we ought to be uh, careful watching for this rally to complete? Well, lo and behold, Steve, you pinpointed a number of indicators that said, yeah, uh, I see this rally uh, coming very close to possibly completing. Well, it completed, I think, within a day, and then it eventually declined, as you know, from 85 back towards 62, 63. Anyway. Uh, that's the background. I've been trading it again the past couple of weeks exclusively on the long side. Once again, I'm long as we speak. And my question to you, sir, is as we're up over 81 now, approaching that prior high of 85, is there anything in your work that is warning us to be careful of a completing a rally phase or not? No. The only thing that I see in my work are these natural, normal type resistance levels. For example, 8465, um, which is an area that it uh, did take on, as you pointed out. And that's the high that goes back into the October 2018 level. So that's a number uh, area uh, out there for us to watch. John, we got to go to a break here. So please stay on through this break. We'll come back. We'll continue uh, taking apart the charts for Lights We Crude for John and Philly. Of course, I'd love to hear from you as well, folks. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the charts of Light Sweet Crew with John in Philly. And in essence, his question is, uh, are there any uh, patterns that I see in any of my charts to suggest that, you know, maybe we're headed back to, you know, just a, a double top, triple top, whatever kind of top it might be, but uh, some resistance out here. So the real resistance level, John, is going to be, and I'm looking at the weekly chart. So the weekly chart formed a TD9 count top, and that was a week that began October 25th. And that high out there is 8410. 8410 also happens to be the top of the uh, weekly profile. So if it, so, that's where price is headed to. We don't know whether it will take it out or not, but if it does take it out, then you've got an A to B equals C to the upside. Uh, we had higher with the next battle being 89.55, um, but that doesn't mean that price isn't going to go beyond that. So the real battleground, even though I mentioned the price point of 84.65, for me, it's really going to be 84.10. If price can clear that level, then that would suggest to you and I that we should head to higher price. Now, during that break, I also went back and looked at the intraday charts just to make sure that I was correct on that. So the only intraday topping signal that we have that you should be paying attention to is a TD9 count on the two-hour time frame chart for Lights Week Crew. Do you use the two-hour time frame chart uh, for your trade at all, John? You know that I do, Steve. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. So you're in, bar, you're in the bar following bar number nine. Um, so whatever, and this this is going to end at uh, 2 o'clock, so we've got another 40 minutes, 41 minutes before this ends. Now, that might be just a short-term top, might pull back to the top of its daily profile, where its oscillator and change line is hanging out right now at 79.77. But the other side of this is, is whatever the high is, if there's a close by 4 o'clock, above that high this pattern will have failed and that would be the confirmation additional confirmation that price should then head up into that 8410 level so i don't have any other topping signals in fact i would tell you john on the 240 minute chart prices negated the topping signal that it had 
Um, yeah, I, I just don't have any other topping signals out here. So it's only the two hour time frame chart to pay attention to. And it's whatever the high is. Um, you know, it may be the high that we've already seen today, or maybe we see another rally between now and two o'clock. That's what I would be watching out there. Any questions about so f uh, the information I've shared with you so far or anything else that I can provide you with? Yeah, no, Steve, I, uh, you've uh, done enough. Uh, I'll just pick out something that was of greatest interest to me in listening to your words, namely the assessment on that weekly chart if 84.10, 84.65 is taken out, an ABCD target is up near 89.90. And well, fundamentally yeah. to me that seems to fit. Uh, understand this. Uh, the push in Europe and the U.S., uh, a lot of the OECD world is particularly, particularly, I'll call it oppressive, to the oil business yes. in, uh, in effect, mandating smaller capex, smaller investment in getting more oil out of the ground. So that will constrain the supply side and uh, barring unforeseen demand snafus, uh, drive price higher, uh, perhaps uh, strongly, perhaps irregularly, that I don't know, and hence the, uh, the reason for my call here uh, to you today. So uh, 8990, if we uh, surpass that resistance, very yes. helpful. I appreciate that. Perfect, perfect. Hey, John, thanks for the call. Always good to speak to you, and uh, have a, a terrific Tuesday. We we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. That was John in uh, Philly. Uh, so uh, we're talking about oil. John and I were talking about oil, obviously. Uh, that kind of leads in or segues into our first request out here that comes in from Hector and Patty. And Hector and Patty want to take a look at ExxonMobil. So let me get to the uh, charts out here, our three time frame charts. So we've got ExxonMobil. The question is, can you please do an A to B equals CD up on the weekly for projected price targets? Well, just so happens we have that already in here. So Hector, here's your small A to B equals CD that gets you to 72.24. Now, if you want to see the large A to B equals CD, it looks like this. We can keep the small one on there as well as the uh, add this new larger one. So the large A to B equals CD inside of ExxonMobil on a weekly basis, Hector, you'd start down at the October 26, 2020 low. The high or the B point looks like it's the high from the week that began June 21st of 2021. And the C point being the August 16th low. The one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern inside of ExxonMobil. By the way, the B point had volume of... Of course, let me get the data box so that we can actually read this together here because I'm not very good at reading numbers behind numbers. So the volume was 116 million shares. Last week, you uh, surpassed that with a wide-ranging bar and 151 million shares. So ExxonMobil on a weekly basis has a confirmed A to B equals CD that should take it over time up to the 8591 level. So that really kind of goes into uh, maybe John's question. which Who's the dog? Who's the pony? out here and um, you know right now what the uh, ExxonMobil is communicating to you is that it's going to go higher and if that's the case well we should see light sweet crude continue to take higher and maybe in fact what it's going to do is take out that uh, 84 10 level I believe was the number that we were looking at but let me just read the question uh, in its entirely can you please do an ABC up in a weekly projected price target because of the volume you're interested in what the 1.618 would look like. Well, I think maybe you were thinking about the smaller A to B equals CD pattern that I had in there. That too, by the way, has been confirmed. The B point at 88 million shares last week was 151. So we've got confirmed small and large A to B equals CD up patterns. The small one, 72.24, and the 1.272, 76.12. The 1.618 gets you to 81.07. But Hector, I really think it is the bigger pattern that is the one that is in play here. So I hope that helps you and Patty out. And uh, thanks so much for the uh, request, and have a uh, terrific Taco Tuesday as well. Um, although I don't know if Steve is going to eat tacos tonight. But you never know. So uh, that's the only question we've got by email. But I do see we've got another caller on the phone, and that is Earl. Earl, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Good. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you as well. Are you off to a good start? Yeah, and, I, and I'm really hoping to bounce it up here. I'm along the SLV. Okay. And I wonder where it is on your count. 
Ah, so the SLV is uh, you don't have to worry about counts out here. So that's not an issue. We'll come back to it. But you're long the SLV. Let's first go take a look at where it's likely to trade to and uh, where, it's, where it's likely to find resistance. And to do that... We'll just come back here and take a look at the silver chart. I'll go take a look at the SLV chart for you momentarily, but really the SLV chart is going to take its cue from what's going on inside of the silver contract. So the uh, silver absolutely. contract, yeah. yeah, the silver contract, the Earl, has significant resistance at 2347. Now, it's the daily time frame that we're looking at. That's the upper left-hand corner. We can see that price is trading with inside a bearish structured profile. We know that both buyers and sellers sit at 2345, but right now now, when we take a look at price action, those sellers have got the upper hand. Price has not been able to make its way through that area, even to get up to where the real sellers reside at 2393. So silver should target 2345. Now, if I go over and take a look at the SLV chart, I'm not sure what I'm going to find, but let's go take a look at it out here. SLV, oops, SLV, and let's uh, get this reduced down so we can take a look at its daily time frame. And on the daily time frame, yeah, so, so its profiles... Earl, do not match up at all with what we're taking a look at inside of the silver contract. And the SLV, uh, the interesting thing here is this has a new profile that's attempting to form right now. And right now, price is below this area. That's typically a bearish message. So the SLV would say, and oh, you know, we're going to a break here. Hold on, and we'll be right back with Earl and Seminole. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at SLV. That is the ETF for uh, silver out there. Earl is long this and looking for some guidance as to what it's communicating to us. So the underlying instrument here is silver, and I choose to use that for its message. And we're seeing a perfect example of it. If I just use the SLV, as I mentioned before we were going to break, Earl, there is a new profile that is attempting to form. When a profile forms above price, that's typically a bearish message. And it would say that uh, price should find resistance at 21.22 and move lower. Maybe that is the outcome. I don't know, obviously. But what I would be watching is really the trading day. The key trading day out here is the trading day from December 28th. December 28th on either the SLV or the silver contract uh, was a TD9 count top. And that top is held. Price tried to uh, you know, pierce it, but it could not close above it. So the real resistance level is going to be 2151. If you see a close above 2151, then that would suggest that price would move to 2176. And if price can clear 2176, Earl, then you'll be in SLV heaven. Uh, because that would suggest to move up to 2739. So we have to take this one step at a time. I did mention to you that in the SLV, you don't have to worry about the uh, TD9 counts or anything. Now, the only uh, and that meant with regard to the current day's bar, uh, not really, not really referring back to the uh, TD9 count in SLV that formed on December 28th out there. So, uh, any questions of so far in, in what I provided to you? No, uh, I had a target at twenty one fifty one. I'm I'm in it short term, okay. and I'm looking for twenty one fifty one. I w I wondered if you see much resistance. Well, you know, on the SLV, because of the new profile, I suppose the answer is yes. Um, but I discount that, and I and I prefer to move from this chart then back to the silver chart. And as I pull over the daily silver chart, this is the March contract that we're taking a look at. Um, your the next resistance level on the price of silver is going to be at twenty three dollars and nine cents out there. Um, so that would be, you know, a level that I would be watching. Not exactly sure what that's going to equate to on SLV. SLV right now is trading. So you got silver at 2275 and the SLV is at about, I think it's around 2104. So I hope yeah. that that helps you out. Um, it, but, it sure uh, does. Perfect, perfect. Okay, well, that's 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 my task. That's my role here at uh, 1 o'clock is do whatever I can to help out anybody that calls in. So it uh, does look like it wants to run higher. The other thing that I would be watching for um, it would be gold because gold may be the uh, instrument that makes its way up to resistance before silver, and perhaps gold is going to control the direction of silver. So before you depart here, we're going to pull over the uh, gold chart. Uh, momentarily. If you give me a moment, I'll find it. And okay. here, what we're going to see, Earl, is that and I'm just I'm going to expand the chart out. Is on a weekly basis, we can see that the top of that weekly profile, which is 1828.50, we're at 1818.90 right now. That's the key resistance level. We hit that back on the week of December 27th. We did it the following week, which is last week. Looks like we might do it this week. I don't know if the third time is a charm. I'm not even sure what the third time as a charm means out there. Uh, but uh, if price, what I do know is, though, if we can get a close above 1828.50, that might really bode well to your message in silver. Kind of makes sense? That's your story, and you're sticking to it. It is. So uh, gold's <laughs> going to probably hit resistance before silver does. And if gold can uh, take it out, likely so can silver out there. So those are the areas to be watching, Earl. I hope that helps you out. Uh, thanks for your Thank New Year's you. wishes. Same to you. Thank and is there anything else I can do for you? No, thanks a lot. You, you're a great help, man. You're the best. Well, thank you. I'm the second best. You're the best. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> As do I do. <laughs> hey, Earl, thanks so much for calling. Have a terrific Tuesday. That was Earl in Seminole, Florida. Just checking real quickly the uh, email uh, stream. I don't see any request out here for that. Um, so let's go and take a look at the, uh, let's just simply take a look at the, the markets. Well, since I'm on this page here, let's take a look at this page. Here's our equity future contracts out here. So what do we know about yesterday as well? You know, let's do this here because, uh, you know, I tried, to, I tried to articulate as clearly as I could what the ES Mini did yesterday. Let's articulate what the NQ did yesterday. And as we take a look at the NQ, remember in the ES Mini we were talking about the daily center of its bearish structured profile. Turns out in the case of the NQ, it too had a bearish structured profile, but it was really for its weekly time frame. Now it was the week of uh, October 18th that price closed above that. 
follow through the next week. And it's been above the top of that weekly profile. It still is above the top of that weekly profile. So based upon that first conversation that you and I had as we were taking a look at the daily charts for the ES Mini, it's bearish structure daily profile. If you were to take a look at this chart and say on a counter trend move, where is it that the NQ should find support? You would scream out 1510405 because that's the center of its weekly profile. Well, the low yesterday was 15152. So it didn't get all the way down there, but it's inside that range. It is that range of the 15104 to 15303 level. What price did was it uh, negated that. Price is above that level. So it says that the intermediate term trend is still in place. Not that the high couldn't be in for the year, which I believe that it is, but the intermediate term bullish trend is absolutely still in place out here based upon this week's activity. Price, in fact, the only way to get a change in trend in the NQ right now, a confirmed intermediate term change in trend, would be a close below 1580458. And really, we need to get two weekly closes. Now, I'm not talking a daily close. I'm talking a weekly close, and that would be below the bottom of that weekly profile. Now, since yesterday, there's a brand new daily profile that has formed. And the bottom of that profile is at 15,434. It is um, pretty equally balanced out here, so there's no benefit to either the bulls or the bears. Price is pretty much sitting at the center, so um, and which is at 15,717. Well, I take that back. It is, let me see, where is that? The center, yeah, 15, we're above that. 15,717, we're at uh, 15,787 right now so uh, 70 points above that this could be a signal to you and i that what the nq is going to go do is go target the 15999 level so for those of you that are uh, taking a look at hey where do i want to short this market maybe what you've received today is a gift now this profile won't be confirmed till 601 but it's valid as we speak and that gift would be start probing at the 16,000 level the 15999 area now if price is able to close above that level well, obviously, that probing would have been wrong, but it also would a close above that level would suggest that we move higher. Now, if you close above that level, 15,999, then there are no more daily, there are no more profile resistance levels, maybe on an inter interday chart, but most certainly not on a daily time frame chart. Uh, so uh, John just posted the question, is the NQ likely to form a lower high or run back to the highs? John, I, I wish I could answer that question. The easy way, the market will answer that question for us. And based upon the what we think is a significant top out there, where price should find resistance is at 15,999. If price closes above 15,999, then the price likely heads higher. And you can see on the daily time frame in the NQ, it's got a, a established little descending trend line. That would likely become the target. That could be your third slightly lower high out there. And that may be where the hook gets set. I don't know. But right now, the level to be watching is going to be the 15,999 level. So I hope that helps you out. We get back from this break. Uh, Dan in Boston wants to take a look at ticker symbol LGVN. So we're going to go take a look at that today with him as well. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow's up 106, S&P 28 points. Let's go out to Michigan and speak with Gary. Gary, Happy New Year to you. Thanks for calling. How are you today? Yeah, ha happy, healthy, and blessed one to you and all you love, Steve. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, so uh, we're going to start our new year with one of your favorite stocks. That is uh, New Skin. Trading out right now at 5378. Uh, how can I best help you? Okay, great. And we'll, I just we'll want to run through it quick, if you can, because uh, I know you want to get to Boston Dan, and he always says some great Oh, great, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Too. That's okay. So, um, so what I was looking at, what we talked before, we talked yes. about the idea that about this point, um, we're going to meet a major resistance. And we, I've been moving most of my um, uh, March um, um, out to, like, um, the next one, June. Uh, okay. As far as giving me some more room, is so I don't get caught in you know the downturn if it turns back again. Uh, but I think it's headed up. But you tell me, you're the man. Well, so what Gary what Gary mentioned is that uh, he's up at resistance level. So let's let's establish those again by taking a look at the uh, charts. And on the daily time frame chart, on the left hand side, folks, you'll see some green horizontal lines. One was at fifty one thirty two. The next one is at fifty three eighty seven. Those represent where price breaks down. So typically, if you're going to find a place where price is going to turn around, it's going to turn around at a prior breakdown level. Well, it went through the first one. If you go through the first one, 51.32, you typically get to the next one, 53.87. Well, it turns out that at 53.87, what New Skin did on a daily basis would generate a TD9 count top. It confirmed that pattern right at that resistance level, and it did it on Friday. Now, what price has been unable to do and this is very important. This is very cool. So the signal right now, Gary, is neutral. It's not bearish, even though we've got a confirmed TD9 count top. And the reason why it's neutral is because price has pulled back and only tested and rejected so far that green oscillator and change line. Remember, I developed that tool to help me understand when a retracement was just a retracement versus something else. And right now, it's just a retracement back to support. So this could, and if it does take out the high from a couple days ago, that high, by the way, is 54.67, this pattern will be negated, and then it would signal a move up to the next level, and the next level would be 62.70. But before we move on to the weekly chart, and I want everybody to understand, uh, he's still, there's still a significant resistance here. But what we now know is that after that TD9 count top, what Price has also done is only been able to get back to that green oscillator and change line, which means that we have a rising 
price oscillator above zero, and that is a bullish indication. So any questions, Gare, about the daily time frame chart and, and its meaning right now? You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm on a phone, so I can't see uh, at the same time. Where is that, uh, the oscillator and change line at? Uh, it is printing right now at 53.49. 5349. Okay, got it. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So, and you can go back and you can take you can take a look at this. Now, look, if if price were to close below that level, then you would anticipate to move back to 5219. And 5219 is the bottom of its new daily profile. And if price closed below that, then you'd be looking at 4902. But that is not the message at 145 in the afternoon, just so you know. Got it. Okay, the weekly time frame, folks. So here's the second level of resistance. 53.83 is its TD9 breakdown resistance for its weekly time frame. It also has a TD9 count top. So the daily and the weekly have the same TD9 count tops. And that means that if price does close above 54.67 on a weekly basis, then you'll have both of those patterns negated. And that suggests that you move back to its highs out there. And I would say those would be the highs up in the 63.85-ish area. But because price is up at that resistance level, as Gary said, hey, this is uh, we're up at uh, key resistance. Now, when I move over to the monthly time frame chart out here, we'll also see that it's trading up into the resistance of the top of its profile. That's at fifty six dollars. And the monthly time frame also has a TD nine count top. So the ultimate level that Gary needs to see new skin close above to say it's ready to get up to eighty two eighty five is going to be sixty three dollars and six and eighty five cents. That's your real nut that you need to see this thing get above to then say you're off to the races to the upside. And and I, uh, uh, and so th th this will be reposted probably in about an hour or so. So you should be able to go back and take a look at these charts and just go into about the one minute, one hour, uh, the about the 45 uh, minute uh, mark of the recording out there and you should get get you to, to where we're at. Okay? And I catalog most of your recording, so I got, I got, I'll be back at it. Thanks so, so much, Steve. You, 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 you are bet. the man, so I appreciate you, everything. Be well. You, you bet. Thanks so much for calling. That was Gary in New Buffalo, Michigan. So we did have a couple of requests out here. One was for the ticker symbol LG, LGVN. And uh, let's go see what this is. LGVN is um, long... Long, Long Everon Inc. Okay. Well, Long Everon Inc. Wow. Well, take a look. Uh, well, so this thing, I don't know what this was. I don't know if this is a reverse merger or what what have you, but uh, where this thing really took off was on the trade day of November 18th. So it's really kind of the data that we have. Now, that was wide-ranging bar moves that we saw out here on a daily basis with some volume and prices pulling back into that area. So I'm really more curious, not profile-wise, because price is below the bottom of the daily. So, Dan... From a profile standpoint, now this is before I know whether there's a bottoming signal or not, this would be suggesting that price could pull back to 706 out there. So just be aware of that. That's the only profile level that we would be concerned with. But let's look at the daily, weekly, not really the monthly chart out here, just not enough data. But if we take a look at the daily time frame charts, let's see, we're looking for signals of a bottom. And uh, what we, we do have that. And that was on the trading day of January 6. I would be watching this low like a hawk. That low is uh, $9.31. And as long as price does not close below that, it can tinker with it, which it has done for the past couple of days. But price has continued to close above that level. You have a TD9 count bottom. Now, because you have a valid bottom on the daily time frame and because the oscillator and change line changed colors about four bars ago, that's where price is targeting. It's targeting the oscillator and change line. It's currently in about the 1233 mark out there. Yes, also wave number seven, letter G. That will be confirmed today, assuming there's not a lower low from yesterday. So you do have that bottoming signal as well. And uh, this tells us that price should go target that oscillator and change line. Now, it could be price moving sideways, the line moving down, the price moving up. But what, what, I don't know what the mixture is. I just know that what price will do or should do is go test that level. Now, the bearish uh, signal would be a test and rejection because the oscillator and change line is red. And then that would suggest, uh, you know, maybe testing another area of support, maybe getting back to these lows. But closing above it would then say, OK, you're on your way to 1515 and likely 1640. So that's the daily message out here. You do have the valid bottom on a weekly time frame. We don't don't necessarily have to have that. 
Uh, and as we pointed out, if price is going to continue to pull back here, 706 would be the number. And then you would see that would be with a close below yesterday's low, at least at this stage of the game. So on a daily basis, absolutely. It's got the bottom. Price should get up to that 1233-ish type area and above that, 1515 and then 1640. So uh, I see what you see. And, uh, and I like the action, and uh, best of luck to you there. I don't have an interday time period on that set of charts out there to take a look at that, but I don't think you need, that you need that. You know what's going on. The next question uh, that came in was to take a look at uh, Barrick Gold, G-O-L-D as a ticker symbol. Let's uh, just do this here. Let me just pull over my white background charts. We're about to go to a breakout here. Let's see if we can get this in. And as we take a look at uh, Barrick Gold, she's headed back towards its bearish engulfing candle from about four days ago. That high out here, trying to get it for you, that high is about $19.10. But during this breakout here, I'm going to go look at the charts for Barrick Gold. See if there's anything else that I need to report back to you. And if so, I will as soon as we're back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we're looking at uh, Rand, I'm sorry, uh, Barrett Gold for Harmon Killebrew. Inside our uh, Tiger's Den, that takes us back a ways, doesn't it? Uh, Brew happens to be part of the uh, of the uh, handle 
And so, but let's get to it. So with regard to uh, Barrick Gold, you like this week's performance out here. So Barrick Gold on a weekly basis has a TD9 count bottom. That formed on October 1st. The very next week, that confirmed a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom. Price uh, went ahead and made its way up into the $21 level out there. Pulled back, testing the uh, bottom of its weekly profile. To, it looks like this week forming a second a second a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. The TD9 count is still in effect out here. So your real level of resistance to watch is 1904. If price can close above 1904, you'll probably get back to at least the 21-ish uh, type area. And if price can clear that, then the next resistance area would be 2230. That's coming from the weekly chart. The daily time frame chart um, just tells uh, you've got resistance up at this next uh, bearish engulfing candle from back on January 5th. And that high out there is 1894. So everything looks pretty good out here with regard to Barrick Gold. I hope that helps you out. Um, and uh, thanks for having fun with uh, Harmon. Killer. We had a couple of nicknames out there, didn't he? I don't remember them all. I think one was the hammer or something like that or the killer or something along those lines. We do have another request out here. This one is to take a look at ticker symbol VTRS. And as we take a look at it, uh, we're in bar number seven of a TD9 count. It is taking out TD9 count breakdown resistance at 1506. This looks pretty good. You could see a short term top form between. So today, Tuesday, this is seven between Wednesday and Friday. You might see a short term top and and price could pull all the way back to its oscillator and change line. That's what the daily time frame shows. The weekly time frame says, I don't know what you guys are looking at. I want to keep moving higher. And higher here would be 1592 to 1680. So I know this was a stock that you inherited. I'd stay with it at this stage of the game. Everything looks pretty good. I expect a potential short-term top again between Wednesday and Friday. Folks, thanks so much for joining me here on Terrific Tuesday. Stay tuned. We've got two more great hours. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.